So we got a big area of low pressure throwing its influence around located somewhere in between the Black Hills and Pierre, South Dakota. We got rain, thunderstorms, very strong winds and heavy snow associated with that from the Canadian to the Mexican border. And we have a front associated with that activity as well. And we're going to see a lot of activity in terms of showers, thunderstorms, some of which could be strong or severe. The severe weather risk is much lower compared to the last couple of days. But in a few areas, those dark green bullseyes in Texas, near Missouri, Iowa, and eastern South Dakota, western Minnesota, isolated damaging winds, and maybe a brief tornado with that spin in the atmosphere. Still got Hurricane Pamela on the board as well. We'll cross through Mexico and uh, just near southwest Texas. That, with that same cold front, we're going to see diagonally a chance of moderate to heavy rain today through tomorrow. Two to five inches of rain from about San Antonio to Dallas and surrounding areas will be possible. Remember to turn around, don't drown. Never drive through any flooded roadways if you do happen to encounter those. On the back side of the low, the cold side, strong north wind, intense snowfall rates certainly possible. Watching for the heaviest rain or heavy snow near the Black Hills of South Dakota into eastern Montana. Winter storm warnings, even a blizzard warnings noted in areas of eastern Wyoming and far northwest Nebraska. A lot of freeze and hard freeze issues in the four corner states. Wind issues for the upper Midwest and the Great Plains. Temperature wise, you can see the effects the slow is having 40 in Billings for a high compare that to near 90 in Houston today.